Hello everyone and welcome from Frankfurt am Main, Germany to another review. Today we have a look at two sponsored products by a company called Ulanzi or maybe Ulanzi, I don't know how you pronounce it. However, I just pronounce it like it's written here, it's called Ulanzi. Today we have a look at the Iron Man 3 phone clip, which I actually requested because it looked so cool to me and looked stable and that's exactly what I wanted a pretty good smartphone holder that's the ST14 link is listed in the video description below the other product we have a look at is the R078 that's a quick release tripod no that's a tripod with a quick release plate and with some special features I say that at the beginning because it's it's really worth watching the review about this tripod. I haven't seen something like that before. Uh, well, that doesn't mean that it's not out there, but I haven't seen it. So let's have a look very quick. So here's the box. Here's the box. I already unpacked it. I was testing it already for the last two weeks. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the tripod first. So that's a mini tripod, which you can use together with a really light camera or your smartphone or maybe your tablet. I, but I wouldn't recommend to use it with your tablet unless it's small, like an iPad mini or so, because the center of gravity might not be correct. I mean, if you're just watching movies, shouldn't be an issue. But once you try to film yourself, maybe that's a little bit too heavy. But if you have a camera where the center of gravity is basically located on top of the tripod, shouldn't be any issue. So that's a little tripod build quality. Well, it's plastic. However, it doesn't feel cheap, which is good. So first of all, let's put that on a desk. As simple as that. You have two quick release plates. The other one is that with a magnetic tool down here which is pretty cool to tighten the screw once you would like to connect a different camera or something else. So the only thing you need to do is attach it down here. As I said, that is magnetic. You can slide it into the ball head of the tripod and the ball head can be rotated 360 degrees and tilted downwards. It's no issue here. And now let's get to the cool part. You can extend this tripod because I was like looking down here, like what is this rod for? And you can basically, if you have a little bit of power, extend it. And then you have a bigger tripod. Maybe that's exactly the size you're looking for. If you do any videos for YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, Instagram, and you need something really small because you travel a lot, that might be one of the tripods you should have a look at. Link is listed in the video description below. Now it's gone and I would like to test something out for you. I have here the Sony Alpha 7 Mark III together with the Zeiss Bartes 18 millimeter wide angle lens. I mean, it's a really small tripod, but I would just like to know if it's possible to attach a little bigger camera to that tripod. Uh, let me have a look it's like this. So I will attach it like this. Now you need that little screw down here, this little tool. Tighten the screw. Oopsie. Make sure it's really tight. You can stow this magnetic tool back again here. And let's see if it works. The only thing you need to do is slide the camera into that little mini tripod and oh, is it holding? Yes. This tripod can hold a camera like the Sony Alpha 7 III with a light, I have to say that with a light super wide angle lens. In this case, the 18 millimeter by size. 
I wouldn't recommend, or I don't think that it's possible to attach a Canon EOS R5 using a 24 to 105 millimeter to this tripod because the center of gravity will shift forward and your camera may fall down and I wouldn't recommend to do that. Instead, I would choose a different tripod if you need a small one. So that will hold and that will fit. And let me have a look. Even works this way. So if you would like to film yourself, you can tilt the camera slightly upwards using the ball head down here, which is good if you have something like a conversation on your desk and you would like to explain something to your audience. A really cool thing. And so that was the hard test for that camera. To get the camera out of here, simply use that um, stop switch for the quick release plate, push it in and then you get out the quick release plate. Let me unscrew it very quick. It's cool that you have that tool attached, otherwise you need to call at all times, which isn't a problem either. Let's get to the special part because I wanted to have this phone holder. Build quality is awesome. As you can see, you have many possibilities to attach other devices down here. Um, for instance, if you have something like an arm with a tripod mount and you would like to attach a video light or an external microphone, isn't a problem at all. And the build quality of this thing is really stable. As I said, link in the, list, uh, in the video description below. Down here, you have two uh, tripod mountings. Here is a ball head which you can turn 360 degrees. You have some lock markings up here. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Which is pretty cool. You can rotate it up here in any direction you want and that will fit so it doesn't move in the other direction once you clip it into these holes here at the side. And you can get rid of that as well if you're missing some space or if the screw is a little bit bigger. And now I have to explain you something because I didn't see that in the first, uh, by the first time I was looking at this phone holder. Um, because I was, I was like, why isn't that going together? Down here, you have a lock. What you need to do is you need to unlock it, take it out, as you can see, it's a really stable and solid construction. Then you need to grab your phone. Where is it? Let's take this one here. That's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Get it in there. So you need to put that together now. And now you need to make sure, wait a second, that you lock it once again. So you need to use that red slider, lock it, take that screw, make sure that it's tight and your phone will be tight in here. It will be tight. And that's an iPhone 11 Pro Max and you can still use it even with bigger phones. I mean, some crazy Samsung smartphones. Let me see if it holds like that already or if we need a tripod. No, in this case, I would say we need a tripod because the center of gravity shifted toward this way. And as you can see, the phone will fall down suddenly. Wow, okay, that, that's a, a different way to do it. Because right now, you can film yourself at your desk, turn the camera around, and that will fit. That's actually pretty cool because if you're a songwriter or if you do something else where you need your phone, in a position like that, it's awesome. And up here, as you can see, is a cold shoe. So what you would be able to do is to attach an external microphone to it or a video light. And with these tripod mountings down here, you can add some other cool things as well to that little smartphone holder. Cool, isn't it? So let's take this one and attach it to the mini tripod because in my point of view, it's a really good combination for a phone. So 
So, the quick release plate is now attached to the smartphone holder. Slide it inwards. You hear that little click on the side. And in my point of view, that's one of the best combinations you can get if you do a lot with your phone and you need a lot of space in your camera back for something else. So that might be one of the best solutions you can get because you can still extend it. Shouldn't be any problem at all. Looks like this. And just as a, so you have kind of an idea how high that is now with the Sony Alpha 7 III next to it. It still stands. Up here, using the ball head, you can turn your phone in any direction you want. Let me find the focus here very quick. It's cool for time-lapse videos. It's cool if you would like to film yourself. Make sure you make yourself familiar with that lock mechanism down here because at the beginning I, I was like, why isn't that working just using the screw? Now I know it, why? And yeah, there's actually nothing bad to say about it. I mean, the tripod could still be made out of aluminum and not plastic anymore. However, I like the, the, the smartphone clip a lot and, and I used it for the last couple days quite a lot. Here are some clips which I recorded for you. So if you have any further questions, please make sure to leave a comment below. And uh, the link is also listed in the video description for all the gear I used to record this video. Thanks for watching. All the best from Frankfurt am Main, Germany. See you very soon and bis bald. Tschüss.